like it's gonna be called Hinduism, and uh, it's just basically like a play off my name. You know, my name Henry, my real name. Yeah. So Hinduism is kind of just like you know I do what I want, but it's like kind of like spiritual artwork on it. Like a, be by or, oh, it's, like, it's like a perfect uh, it's like a perfect combination of spiritual and like street background on the artwork and it fits me perfectly i feel like i feel like it's a good sight to see as far as the artwork and i feel like the music gonna be quality too that's cool so i'm always looking a mix a mixed batch of just like different types of songs spiritual songs street songs female type songs you know what i mean yeah i can feel that i can feel that you're very diverse i can feel that yeah that's exactly how i'm kind of playing that but I got maybe four songs ready for it, but I really ain't rushing it. Like I said, I'm trying to build the buzz and put like a promotion market behind just a couple of songs before I really fully put a project out that nobody go acknowledge because I got to build my buzz more. For sure, for sure. But well, it's already ready though, so I can't really give y'all a date, but I feel like either the end of this year or January, it'll be coming out. So who's your favorite person that you've done music with so far? That you you like uh, doing music with and you keep going back to. Uh, the guy that won uh, the contest last week on uh, Sunday dinner, the four one nine. Demos or um. <laughs> yeah, Demos. Yeah, uh, me and him, we actually like I say, we in a group together. It's his group, uh, Death Note Entertainment. But I mean, that don't always mean you don't like making songs with the person though. Like me and him, we just got like a chemistry. We don't really gotta talk about too much because we both kind of like perfectionists with songwriting yeah. and we all we kind of know like just the vibe and, and go off each other's vibes and just it, it happened fast and easy it's really effortless for real i'm telling you he's something he's something when i heard that Plus, i know i known him since we was in high school like, yeah we had uh, that yeah. we had uh, <laughs> a whole class together and it's funny because like when i first met him like he used to tell me like, oh yeah, I rap, and he had his little notebook, and I was, I was telling him I rap, but we never really like linked up outside of school. And then one day I was uh, at the studio, like this dude uh, around the way or whatever, he had like a, a real studio, but it was just in a house, like he had like mixing boards and everything. So I got cool with him and we started recording and stuff, but he was like, this dude coming over, he said, he know you, and I'm like, he showed me a picture of him and everything, and I'm like, no, I don't know, dude, but I ain't seen him since high school. So right. I'm like, <laughs> then he come over, I'm like, oh, I know him. Like, and then we just got back up. This was like around like 2012 when we've been making music and tight like that again. Everything. That feels all, that always feels good when you click someone real well with music writing and shit. And you're not yeah, like right away, like, too, at that. So is he the yeah. one that comments on the Facebook all the time? No. Uh, no. Dylan or? Like, oh, no, Dylan, that's my boy. That's, uh, NBM, he's another uh, Who Girl Money Gang artist. Okay. So, uh, but he actually makes more like a. I, I, the best way I could describe the genre that he makes is like trap metal. I don't even really know how to describe it. Like, it's more like rock sounding vocals with hood beats. And as I don't know, you have to just check him out. Actually, go to his page. He posts all the time. He might want to actually come up here and, you know, give you your next interview. Maybe. Yeah, what, 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 what was his name he put in the comments? Uh, his name is uh, Dylan on Facebook. She got him on, as a friend, but uh, artist name is NBM Murder Boy. Okay. Don't that confuse that with our A B A M A M B M. No, it's two different things. But I feel like he'll right, be, right. uh, be a good guest on this show, for real, to be honest. I, I like him as a person. Um, his music's nothing that I really would listen to. I support yeah. him as a person, though. Like I like his energy as a person. No, no doubt, he definitely is a good person. Though. Yeah, no, I like him as a person for real, for real. But um, the his music is um kind of scary and dark and heavy sometimes <laughs> for me, because I'm a high vibrational um person and I feel energy. So when I hear it. Yeah, put... I mean, I like Fleetwood Mac and Slipknot, and then maybe I'll wake up and listen to hip hop like Wu Tang or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I don't really judge. You can't judge music by, by off of like 
know, like a genre, like you can't. Yeah, or you know what I mean? If it sounds No, because I, I like Bodies Hit the Floor. I love that song, but the thing is, I don't want to listen to it every day without getting depressed no, and negative. I don't want to listen to it every day. But I'm saying, like, you know, I don't really necessarily put a, you know, a, a cap on anything as far as, like, what it sounds like, as long as it sounds good to me. Like yeah, yeah, no, creative, he sounds good for real, and he's very creative, creative. yeah. You know what I mean? I bring something new to the table that you may not get from nobody else. That's what I look for. Like, it's some artists that I know I'm better than, but I listen to them because they bring me something that I can't get. Right. No, my grandson listens to stuff in, uh, um, on YouTube, just goes through little sh skits or whatever on YouTube. And then um, if I hear it and it feels like it's heavy to me, like a, a low vibration, dark, um, demonic, I <laughs> make him turn it. I, I just, I, I can't. And it has nothing to do with anything except for I battled enough demons of my own that I put them away that I don't want to have them come back out. No, that's understandable, though. I'll get that. <laughs> Hey, headphones. Respectable <laughs> volume. He's got a bunch of headphones. He just, for some reason, wants to share everything with me like I like it, too. <laughs> the best thing he said next to me is um, satisfying lip noises. And the lips were choosing, chewing random things. Man, that thing irritated my presence. I'm like... <laughs> He's ah. with some ASMR, right? <laughs> yes! <laughs> the dumbest shit ever. Oh, yeah, I feel like all of that stuff is kind of crazy. Like, no, no, that's like a weird chew. thing to me for some reason. That's a, that's a dirty <laughs> fetish that I don't want to be a part of. I don't want to watch someone chew. That's not satisfying. Yeah, I don't want to really somebody is. chew or like rub a nickel on some Brillo pads or yeah. something. Like that. <laughs> that's not <laughs> satisfying. I don't get that. But, hey, it Them kids like that shit for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, no, I can't do it. So I tell them to get out of my face. I love them all. And that's my heart, but no, that might not my type of thing. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I heard that you changed your name a few times. Yeah, uh, like I used to be get it in hand, but I felt like it was a, uh, I don't know, it was. I mean, it was cool, it was different, and unique, but I felt like I wanted it to be taken serious more because a lot of people like couldn't even really say it right or would mess it up. So, I would just, you know, I switched it to Henry Rich. I still go by, like, get it in hand as an alias and Hendro as an alias, but Henry Rich is my new rap name. So, everybody can find you everywhere on every platform under Henry Rich? Yeah. I mean, even older songs, you can still find me under Henry Rich. Okay. I did Hendo. Uh, that was mine. <laughs> I did, did, did anyone? <laughs> that's funny that you say that. I know somebody. Uh, she called me Hendo. I was like, that's funny. I was wondering if that was synonymous with all Henrys or not. You know, I got I don't I know, like, questions. A lot so. of people try to call me Hen Dog, and I'm like, no, that's yeah, corny. Yeah. Don't call I'm me like, that. I just, that's so corny. You just don't call me that. Like, it's so cringy. Yeah, I know. Hey, yeah, just call me Hendro or Hen or call me something. Don't call me Hen Dog. I don't care what you call me. Don't call me. Man. I've had people, I've had especially boomers come up to me and do that. I have a Henry VIII song, you know that one? Yeah. Guy, yeah. you fucking sick of that yet? I'm not being good. Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> that only happened when I go out, like, to, like, you know, white bars or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, yeah, okay, no, I, I feel you. I'm fucking sick of thinking you shut your mouth. But yeah, I mean, it's good, though. Know, I don't be tripping for hand dog. Like irritate me more than that, so I'm cool. yeah. So if you were gonna talk to a youth that's trying to get into music, what would you tell them? I would tell them it's best to just you know build your bag up and pay for your promotion to be more of an independent boss. Because once you do the footwork, I mean everything could be yours, and you really don't need a label right now. It's kind of pointless. And if you just stick with it, you'll be good. It take consistency and some money behind some promotion because a lot of people ain't good but a lot of people get traction because they do what they have to do business while a lot of people are good and don't do what they supposed to do business while they're still sitting somewhere on the show yeah. you know what I mean so it's best to be your own boss because most of these young rappers they got potential but they just don't know how to push themselves but 
I mean, it's, that's kind of like the thing that I'm going through, growth and, you know, just trial and yeah, error. So yeah. instead of doing all of that, just pay for promotion and just consistently just keep dropping. It's going to click somewhere, somehow, you know what I mean? And guess what? So um, that makes a lot of sense, though, for real, for real, because, like, that's how I seen you on Facebook first was your promotion. Yeah, see, you know what I mean? Like, like my song, hopefully, like, it got 48,000 views. Not because I know forty eight thousand people, but because I had a Google ad on it and it, it was a decent song, decent video. You know, a lot of people just wanted to click it and just see what it was about. You feel me? But if you don't ever put that out there, you can't never get no reaction. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, social media is wild. Like putting it out there to the right groups and whatnot, I see gain traction. Is that how do you? Uh, how do you feel about that? I don't know. I have, social media is a big confusing place. Like, say that one more. Algorithms time. wild. Seems like you'll share one thing and you don't get uh, you don't get any views, and then you share something trivial and it gets like a shit ton of views. You know, I think for real, for real, it all depends on like uh, what the content is and for real, for real hashtags. <laughs> yeah, that's for the hat. That's because it like it get the people uh, paying attention to you more because a certain uh, hashtags go to certain people that like certain things I guess I guess that's how the algorithm can go social media wise or whatever but YouTube I mean as long as you stay consistent and dropping on your channel all the time the people that look up the stuff that you put out it just kind of you know it yeah. kind of categorize itself I guess so to say that's good advice. That's good advice because the internet's a weird place and it just keeps getting more tricky. And then those people that click it all the time, they share it at least two. If you got 10 people that's clicking your stuff, at least two people go share it. So, I mean, you know what I mean? There's new fans as long as you keep consistently putting the music or keep sharing it or keep putting promotions behind it. You can't just share it and then just, you know, not share it. Yeah, consistency matters, for real, for real. That's the only way to... Because me personally, even when I'm listening to people that I don't know or that I get wind of, I only usually click their stuff or listen to them because I've seen them numerous of times and i never listened before. And I'm like, you know what? I keep seeing this person. Let me just see what they're about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I get, I get people like that. I'm just like, I have no idea who the hell you are. It's like all those suggestions. You know what I mean? If somebody keep asking you, do you wait, is you hungry? And you ain't even hungry. Eventually, you're going to be like, I'll take something. You know what I mean? Yeah, mm. for sure. So how do you feel about collabing with just anybody? Does it have to be somebody that you could, um, that you feel that your music can bounce off? Or, or can it be somebody you haven't heard yet? Yeah, it could be somebody I haven't heard yet. I don't collab with people that ain't genuinely, it ain't genuinely nothing there. Like, I don't care if you got a buzz on that, but I don't really rock with your music. I ain't gonna fake the funk. Right. Like, unless you, unless you pay me and you just want that feature, but I don't really reach out to people that I don't feel like the music gonna be good. Cause that's my whole thing with features. I want two sounds to make a good sound, not two personalities to make a horrible song. Like, it don't really make sense to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I so, want a good song. I don't want the clout. Like, so you didn't send us some songs to play? No, nah, I did not. But my latest song just came out uh, probably like two weeks ago. It's called Family Moment. It's on all platforms. That's pinned on our find, page. You can find all of my music on all platforms. Henry Rich, uh, just look me up. Social media, Henry Rich, uh, Instagram. Henry underscore Rich Forever. I'm pretty much everywhere you can find music at, so. Well, I know you gotta get going. And I don't wanna hold you up too long, and I appreciate you coming on, but I wanna ask you a question before, because you're gonna head out, so I wanna ask you, um, when you're depressed, what do you tell yourself to get out of that moment? Because that's our next thing that we're gonna talk about. Uh. What's a little thing you do you, for yourself? You, you've been in worse situations than this, and it was it, it's fine now, you know. So, <laughs> like, it's been a long time since you actually sat down and been in this situation, and you never thought you was gonna get through it. But then it's time when you sit back and laugh at the shit. You know what I mean? So it's like, as long as you just continue to just stay focused on where you're trying to be and how you're trying to be, this ain't forever. You know, you gonna always get through it if you want to. Yeah. So we have another date for you set up. Um, 
I think it's um, I like October. Had a lot more music out, and yeah. I'll be much yeah. more prepared. You know, you just yeah. gave me the opportunity, so I wanted to jump on it. No, on. for sure, yeah. we appreciate it, especially since you just got Family Moment. Um, Family Moments pinned on our page on Unseen Twisted Truths Facebook page. Um, I will share it after this. Um, everybody tune in and try to find him on all platforms. Go like, share, subscribe. It's free to go follow. It's free to support. Right, it's free. All you gotta do is just click the links. <laughs> Free to support. Get my pretty pass here. <laughs> man, man, I appreciate y'all, man. No. Get up out of yep, I appreciate <laughs> you. Next time, though. Next time. I and then appreciate y'all platform. And I thank y'all for having me out here. No, no problem. I say have a blessed yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Good seeing y'all. Yes. So, what do you do? What do you do, Henry, when you're depressed and um, you're going through it? What do you tell yourself? I panic. And <laughs> then uh, I breathe through it. No, I, uh, I have panic attacks. 